weekend before you get your take off. But uh, good catching everyone, good catching you as well, Tex. And uh, we'll um, uh, I'll leave it with that. I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll put it to um, I'll put it to Frank, and then he can put it to Tex and keep the order go. Uh, yeah, keep the order going that way, I guess. Uh, I'll leave all you guys with it. Uh, I'm outside here, about time to jump in the shower, so... Okay, so, there we go. So, what I've set up now is my dipole and my vertical. So, uh, in the previous video, there was the wind camp uh, dipole. So, I've set that up in the, just in the backyard. I'm fairly lucky that I've got enough space to be able to do that. So, I've just got it up on a squid pole. Uh, as you can see, it's... Uh, Fairly windy here this afternoon, uh, just part of the uh, afternoon sea breeze that comes in. So I've virtually done it as a inverted V. I'll just go over here to see how I've uh, attached the ends of the dipole. I've just used a fiberglass rod in the garden that was in the previous video. So uh, they're fairly flexible and they do move around a fair bit and that's the whole idea so we don't put a lot of tension on, on the uh, on the wire itself. I'll just have a quick look at the, the dipole. As you can see, we're on the green section here. And if you can read that, it says green seven megs. So that's the seven meter, oh, seven meg section, sorry. And you can see the other ones there. Uh, they're fairly well hot further up, up, the, uh, up the wire, so we can't really see those. So basically that's what I've done. I've just used a squid pole. Uh, it's probably up about six metres. I said it's blowing around a fair bit. I do apologise for any wind noise. I can't do much about it this afternoon. Uh, it's just typical over here in Perth to get this sort of sea breeze from the Indian Ocean in the afternoon. Uh, so there's nothing, there's no storms or anything like that, but sometimes it does howl in. Okay, so I've got also the uh, vertical hooked up as well. And uh, I'll go through now the ground planes for the vertical. So as in the previous video, uh, it's got its own ground plane wire that came with the antenna. And it's fairly thin, you know, if uh, you can focus in on that. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty thin wire. So that's why I made, I made, my, made my own. So what I've done, I've just fanned them all out over the backyard. There's, uh, there's the pup. And uh, I've got the other end of the dipole over here in the, in the backyard. So if we look up, oh, sorry about the sun. Um, you can see it following all the way up and there's the dipole up there. So it's probably up about six meters as an inverted V. And it works really well, as you could see in the beginning of the video, um, it does receive exceptionally well. And as I said before, I love using this little Zygu G90, Zagu, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, such a great radio. Uh, easy, to, easy to read screen. I know the screens are really small, but as I said before in previous videos, the colour in the screens makes it so much easier to read, especially for old eyes. Um, so don't be frightened about the uh, size of the screen because yeah, you can read it, read it really, really well. Great features on this radio. I'll uh, just go down with the band. Just turn that down a bit. Sorry about that. So we're on 20 metres at the moment. And just let's see what the tuner does. Let's see what it can do. And there you go. It's resonant. So 40 and 20. Let's just try to see if it will tune up on... 80 metres, let's have a go, see what it does. Yep, and uh, yes, that's tuned up on 80. Let's see what other frequencies it can do. Uh, let's try 15 metres, let's see if it can tune up. Don't forget this dipole is actually uh, made so you can tune it to length and have the antenna resonant, which I know you're meant to do. But uh, let's see what it can do on 15. Oh, pretty fair close to the band there. So it tunes up on 15. It's just, yeah, it's such a great radio. Uh, there. Uh, just go a bit closer. Let's 
so let's have a look. Yeah, that will tune up and what else can we do? Uh, let's see if it tunes up on 10 litres. You can hear the tuner working away. Well, it's probably not liking that at all. I'll just do a quick test. Is the frequency in use? Yeah, yeah. So it's not tuned up on 10 meters. I, I probably didn't. Probably asked a little bit too much of it. Let's get it back down to. Uh, I might even keep it on uh, on 20 meters. As I said, this radio is really easy to use. Um, we'll tune it up on 20. Sorry about the glare there. Turn, turn that down yeah so that's my setup for uh, my qrp portable operations i'm just using the uh, 12 amp hour lipo battery you know that battery will run this radio oh, for hours and hours and hours and even on talk time i'll probably get a good uh, two to three hours out of it um i've probably got it running on about 15 watts at the moment 15 20 so it probably does use a little bit more power but that's basically it that's what i use uh the vertical is obviously a little bit quieter but um oh the wind's died down a bit oh, you can't really see the it, it's fairly good with the uh squid pole uh, they're fairly sturdy and if you get it right they sort of don't move around they probably move from one side to the other more than anything else just don't put too much tension on on the wires themselves and uh yeah just around the back here uh it's got a ferrite on it uh it's, it's an stray rf i'm not too sure the quality of the ballot up there but um i think you've seen it in the previous video you can't really see it and i just use a bit of insulation tape for a couple of places just to keep the coax in check but basically that's it um so probably a little bit later uh what have we got about 5 36 o'clock here at night uh, probably around seven eight o'clock tonight the bands will start picking up uh, obviously as the sun goes down and uh, hope to make some good HF contacts okay thanks for watching my videos give me a thumbs up drop a comment and uh, I hope you enjoy them 73s for now